So what's up guys and welcome back to the VFX Masterclass in uh, After Effects tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you guys, um, we're going to be talking about um, three different things. We're going to be talking about um, green screen removal, um, VFX compositing and also a um, little bit of minor color corrections. And you guys might be asking what a green screen, you can actually see a couple of my videos like these are videos I actually done before. Um, whereby um, you can actually see actors being moved in one place to another or backgrounds are actually replaced, those are actually green screen effects. Uh, with the Apple green screen, those are actually done, and then composing is basically adding different assets to the green screen compose uh, effect you actually did, like adding different um, assets such, uh, such as videos, pictures to um, form uh, a, a cool scene, and then the color correction is basically just to enhance the color to make it look good. Like you can actually see these these video are actually displaying. This is a video I actually did for a musician in Nigeria. Name on the cash on this music, uh, Lee Cash and Zeno Liski on this music video. Don't call me so you can actually see the VFX. You can actually check this on YouTube, okay? It's actually on YouTube, so you can actually go view this. So basically, and you can actually see the one I actually did for my sci fi video, the Observe 2, where um, every of the VFX uh, at is green screen. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So without further ado, so let's get started. So basically, I'm going to be bringing in the videos that you just watched. This is one for the Lee Catch. And also, I'm going to be bringing in um, watch. So let me take this in. Try and drop. Yeah. So basically, we need to um, start up with this one here. Okay. So basically, I have my two clip here. So now, okay. So basically, I'm going to be dragging my clip in. Sorry about any background noise. You're actually, hearing. Um, actually, downstairs and it's actually noisy a little bit. So this is the clip here, and I'm going to bring this in. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can actually remove this green screen. And one thing also you need to know about green screen is that um, your green screen needs to be at least a little, a little bit green, like really green. Like you see this color, I think at least dark green, like the ones you actually see in a movie. If not, and your green screen needs to be properly lightened. If not, your scene will not be okay to composite or the green screen will not be properly removed. So now go over to your After Effects and then come over to Effect. If your Effect and Effect, uh, effect and Preset um, um, menu is not actually here, make sure your work space is actually on standard if this is not here then i think what you should need to do is go over to windows and then if you if you actually select it standard because they're actually different uh, work layout so click on standard and if you still don't see this here check this menu to see that you are on effect and preset if you don't see this here go over to windows work space and then click on reset standard save layout you should get that back now so now select your clip the next thing you have to do come over to effect there are actually two um plugins that you can actually use to remove the green screen one is an external plugin which is the key out and then one is the follow com preset that follows after effect when you manually install it so i'm going to be using the one that actually followed after effect so type key lights key light and you can see this key lights 1.2 you can easily just drag this to the clip or you can drag this to the timeline of the clip which is the selected layer or you can just select the um, timeline and then double click and you can actually see it now it's now added here just like you did for the other um plugin any plugin you always add there's always a preview menu for this a preview menu for the plugin you can see let me see because this is normally this is where your project v needs to be you can actually just easily cl click here to come back to it or just anyway this is just a drop down menu something so you can actually see it so now the next thing you need to do is come over to here you see this place that says screen color click on this icon and then select the green wow you can see now you can actually notice two things actually happen here the green screen is actually gone and it's also the grass color actually change well this is because um the grass is actually green so anything that looks green on the scene is actually picking it off so if you're actually making if you want to make use of the green screen make sure the object or the character does not um get any green stuff anything green on the environment or on the scene it actually picks it out so that's why um when you're actually doing green stuff there are also a lot of things you need to put in consideration so yeah that's it for the green so make sure any other thing is not green on the scene because it's actually going to pick it out anything green yeah so now let me turn back this effect so now i'm going to add the background like you guys might want okay what background are we going to use so now let me just make a minor background i want to add a background to this i just say new and then um solid let me add a white background to this 
it's actually on the top of the screen that's why you're actually seeing white so i'm going to take this behind you literally need to put everything behind so now wow you can see this now so basically you can actually see this now um which it does not actually make sense now because you can actually see this stuff here which doesn't really make sense so come over to your um your layer your video layer and then come over to screen mats then all you have to do is increase the clip black bit and then it's all gone but if you could notice a little bit you can see his trousers are actually a little bit affected so one of the ways to fix this is because the green screen was not proper lighting that's why we have to increase that so one of the ways to fix is that you can come back to the video layer duplicate this duplicate and then you actually get a cool color now you can see his trousers are actually showing back so this video is not actually that good you can see everything is back to normal everything is actually good so yeah you're yeah, good to go you can add in any background you want let's say i want to put in the main background we actually plan to use in for this video which is this one so let me bring it in i'm just going to drop this here now instead of me putting it let me i want to rename this as background so i'm just going to click right click and then rename and then say bg so i'm going to make sure your background is always behind it's always under just like this one is now so now you can actually see now how it's looking you can actually see now the background is there so i know you guys might be wondering so first of all let me delete all this layer so we'll, we'll get back we'll still have to do this back again so i deleted all the layer you can actually see that his clothes are actually fading out so because we, need, we don't need these guys on the scene so how do we crop them out basically you just have to come over here you can actually use you know i told you about the rectangle tool and then the pen tool on the previous tutorials so you can actually just come here and then you actually know where the green screen started from just crop out and then you have him here he is going he's going and then although he actually worked out of the um the background layer is not enough so i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then take this forward so yeah so you can see so at this part he actually worked out of the frame so we can actually just manually adjust this either it's either you animate the max parts i mean it's either you animate the max parts my you can literally just adjust this max parts or you can actually animate while it's working to just to make sure it fit or maybe i just take this up but you can notice that there's a tiny part here which you don't want to see so that's why i say you can literally just animate the max part this is just for tutorial sake we're not actually doing anything professional here so you, you've actually watched the um, previous tutorial where you can actually animate the max part to make it fit so now that we've got this part now we can actually just duplicate this duplicate duplicate and then to make you can see the trouser now it's not looking good everything and also you can see this edge so basically if you want to duplicate this make sure you uh make the your let me so let me just do this to make it look good so you guys can actually see it so i'm going to be so since there's a mistake here you can actually see this, there's still a tiny line here and also his trouser is also not looking that good so basically before you duplicate the video layer to make it look good yeah actually need to animate this stuff to make it fit in so you know at this point he walks the end of the screen so i, I don't want to put in the whole part of this select this at the top and then bring this down now um, press m on your keyboard to show the max part timeline so click this let me zoom back so we can actually see that that line is no longer showing if i should click out that line is no longer showing so i'm going to be manually following him okay okay to see if it's actually oh good then um we can actually see what the password we actually cropped out so basically it's good to go for some of the other scene i don't know if it might be you need to animate the timeline but i don't think this stopwatch is needed anymore because it actually fits i thought maybe you might work out of the screen but just in case yours is working out of the screen like this part where uh, you can actually literally animate your max part but since i'm not i'm not going to go to that part so basically you can actually see it now now that part is not there so the next thing i have to do is just duplicate this one two about three or two times you can see now all the edges of the trouser are now looking good everything's now showing well so that's it so basically i can actually add anything to the background 
I can even put a text behind him if I want. I can just put in a text and then say, um, let me put in a text for this so you can see. So basically, I, I can just come in and then put in a text. Let me just say I want to put in a text behind him. Just click on the text. And then let me just um, write out something. Um, M -m 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 -m. It's actually, let me scale this up. Um, S on your keyboard and then increase the size. Sorry, cap buckles on. You can actually see. So, so for some of you, your text might be at the top layer and then it's going to be looking something like this. No, no. So, all you just have to do is just drag it below the um, video layer. These are the three video layers. So, it should just be here so it can actually sit behind him. Now, you see, it's actually looking good. So, now let's move on to the advanced. Um, composition like you know i actually told you that there's actually two uh, methods you can actually remove the green screen another one which you can actually use guys is the um primate care so let me still go back to the effect and then let me come out here. so i'm i'm going to select the video layer i'm going to delete this one so you can see the green screen again so i'm just going to select and then say um, kia k-e-y-e-r so we have the primary key. This is an external plugin from Red Giant, which I actually installed. There's actually going to be a tutorial on how to install this. So select the video layer. I'm just going to double click this. So select the green, which is this. And then you can actually choose in a square or a bit. let me use the square. And just select this layer like this. And wow, we have this. So you can actually see that uh, there are some parts here showing this. I'm still going to do this part again. And while it's going out. It's going out a little bit. This actually works with the lighting and color. So let me just like this layer one last time. Okay. So now you can actually see your character is actually fading out. So to bring him back, all you just have to do is come over and select this one here. Select this same square and then select parts of his body. You can actually see he's bringing him back, but at the same time, it's also bringing out back the green. So this is actually a tedious work though. We'll get over it. So a little bit select this one again. Again, this one takes time, okay? This is just because the the green, green screen was not properly lighting okay just so on some scene this actually works well okay actually since it's going out going out wow so i actually selected this other green so now let me select this to bring back the character's color the object or the subject whatever it's called so you can actually see it's coming back now it's coming back now wow so we have a good um character here so you can actually see this is more be, much better than that of the key light because we did not have, have, have to duplicate the layer and we already have a good picture quality so this is to bring back to your ob object you bring back to the subject and the stuff on your scene and then this is basically for the green screen you just have to be doing this manually until you get what you need and then for this other tiny parts you can actually still i think you can actually see select and then wipe it out let me select this and then oh let's not do that you can so basically you can actually just use your max part to animate just like we talked about so yeah so now let's head on to something advanced than this for the music video i told you about let's head on to the vfx compositing and everything so basically this is the part where we have to do the compositing so, uh, like I said, I already have a video here. This is the music video I did for Location Journalist. Okay? So, if you watch the video, you can actually see I replaced a lot of stuff at the background, replacing all the skies, and a lot of stuff was done. So, basically, I just need the green screen part where I'll be working with. So, I think um, here. So, I'm going to trim it from left to right by pressing Alt, open bracket, and then go over to the part where it stops. I think here, and then Alt, close bracket. So, now I'm just going to come back to the clip. And then drag this down to your timeline so now it's already trimmed to fit in so now we have this let me shut down the audio so this is what we have so basically we need to remove this green screen thing so i'm, I'm just first i'm going to try by using the key light the primate key here I'll click on that select the green Ooh. It's actually not looking good so let me use the square selection so basically i think you selected as much green screen make sure your green screen is properly lighting if not it's going to affect your scene your set so i'm just going to select this one now 
to get the object so i need this object i need everything here to show so now you can see our object is good now but the green screen is still there uh which is not that good i'm still trying to take it off but it's also affecting the scene so i'm still taking it off slowly slowly so let me get back to my object again ouch so we still have to manually keep doing this until we get a proper or a good lighting system so let me add a white background to this let's see how it looks like so we can actually know where we're standing on okay and then bring this underneath the video layer so wow you can see some tiny spots that's why you always need this so select this make sure it's the video layer selected let me lock down the background layer so it don't affect your work select the top layer and then now see try to wipe out all the green oh sorry this happens a lot so yeah so trying to wipe them out okay so basically it's going off oh country z so basically at least it's a little bit much better than before although we still have some tiny edge which you can actually see here which is not that good so i'm going to select this other part this pen this one here and then manually do this a little bit so but for this if this is actually giving you issue okay you can actually just use your pen to to crop out the areas which you don't want like what i actually did for the music video was i actually just did a max part around this whole thing Okay, up to 100. I actually did a max part around this whole scene and then just cropped out this whole scene. That's what I actually did just to save my time because the green screen was not properly lightened and it was giving me stress to remove. So I just had to do this. Up this. Mind this is true. I'm just doing this for the sake of tutorial. It's not going to be perfect here, but just had to show you guys how to do it. So now, okay, we finished cropping this, but you notice now the video layer is no longer showing. So what you have to do is press M on your keyboard, come over to the max, and then click on subtract so now you can see this we have this now so now we just have the video layer so basically this is just to you can actually see it's cool looking good clear even if i turn off this stuff you might actually see here though but this is just for tutorial so now now we have this now so the next thing you guys want to be like how do we make the composition like this is the, what we actually came here for we need to make composition happen so now all you have to do now this is the scene we will be using for the um, compositing uh, let me get on the background we'll be using so this is what we'll be using for the background so as you can actually see it's a train it's actually in front of the that's why i seen it this way so i should take this down now behind so you can actually see it's a train scene let me scale this down a little bit so you can actually see it um it's a little bit too big it's still too big so basically this was what happened in the music video let me scale this up so you can get this so basically this was what happened in the music video but if you play this now the train the train is basically not moving it's just in one point stagnant which is not what we actually need so basically we actually need the train to be moving on that scene so this is where we have to start doing the compositing so first thing we have to do is um, we have to create a new come over to the project and then come back to this um train we need to create a new composition first okay by right, come over and come here and then click this on this so we are, all you guys have to do is come over to first of all i have to delete this first so we just have a white background in him there so come back to here and then click on new composition or by pressing ctrl L, or you can press ctrl n and i'm going to name this as train so we are we just trying to create a compositing scene a background for this okay then now we have the string so the next thing we have to do is come over to the the layer this is it so now we have this it's really big fit to zoom so let me scale this down so it fits now so the next thing we want to do is that we need to crop this string because we can watch the music video this string was actually moving so we need to crop this string to make sure it's moving so um first thing you have to select your um paint tool and then 
maybe uh, okay you can just click this on full resolution so now we have to manually crop this train out so this is it we're actually going to be doing two scene so this is the first one so we have to crop this step by step so um you can actually zoom in closer to get a good edge so here we go Okay, so now we're done with the cropping of this um, layer. Now you can actually see um, everything is actually looking really dark. And then, wow, now we just have just a train here. So now the next thing we have to do, we have to duplicate this layer. Now on this top one here, we have to rename this as train. Train, so yeah. So the, I'm going to turn off this layer. Now we can still see it here. Now the next thing, we need to get the bridge. So all you have to do now is come over, let me select this, and then you see this your max you created select it double click on this and then delete this so that the layer can come back make sure you turn off your top layer which is the train now we need to get this bridge as the second this is the second thing we need to get we need to get this bridge as a composition so the next thing we have to do we have to do the same process for this so let me just rename this as bridge b r i d g e and then so we also need to crop out this bridge too so now we this might be a little bit easier. Select to the end. I'll take that a little bit. Okay, so guys, basically now we've got the bridge. Um, we've got the bridge and we've also got the train. So now these are like two stuff here now. We've got the bridge and we've got the train. So now, now um, basically now you can actually just animate this now. If I should use the position, you can actually see now it's actually moving now. Wow, you like this. It's actually cool now. So you can literally just animate this. So now the next thing we want to do now is bring on this layer, this train, uh, this train thing with it. You can actually see it here. All you just have to do is just click and then drag this to this part here. So so I think it's done. Let's bring it to the top position. Let's animate this. Okay. Okay, so we actually have this. Although the animation is not looking that good, yeah, yes, it's just for the sake of tutorial. You're trying to make something where well, you can see my cuts are not actually good compared to the real official music video. This is just a prototype of what we did in the music video, so that's what I'm just trying to show you. So another thing we need to add now is the. You can see the, it's not looking all that good. So we need to add in the trees, the sky, like that in the video. So let me get in the sky. We are there. So this is my environment. I just had to go get the sky. Um, it's actually big. So let me just take it. I believe that's this are the description. So I'm going to be putting this behind the train layer. So now you can actually see we have a sky. It's actually not looking that good. So let me scale this down. And then um, take this up a little bit. So you can actually see it now. It's not looking a little bit much better than before. Let me take this down. Um, so, uh -huh, we have this now. So, now we have this now. So, the train now looks a little bit, the scene looks a little bit more appealing to the eyes. So, now, like I said, we're not going to be making it perfect. I'm just going to be showing you guys how to make compositing mainly, mainly on your own. So, now, um, mind you, um, so now you can get on how do we animate this to move? How do we get this to move? Now, if you want to animate this to move now, you need to go back to the train layer. 
and then set this um let me first of all let me make this background white so we can actually see everything okay so i turn on the png so i can actually see everything so basically this train needs to be balanced a little bit because if you can actually look closely this part is not actually touching the ground so i need to um I need to get this up uh, my arrow press arrow in the keyboard for rotation and rotate it a little bit oh that's too much okay this will be good yeah okay so this is good now let me bring this down a little bit so now another thing we need to do now is get the bridge layer duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and then bring it at the top of the train so now you can see that it's like the train is in between then if you can notice now i should take this down a little bit so it doesn't look the train doesn't look as if it's coming out so you don't actually see the tire so because of the eye, eye levels if i should turn this let me say I take the bridge at the top and turn this off you can actually see the train tires but now to make it look as if it's actually in there so the next thing we want to do is animate the position of this train let me zoom out so basically select the train layer and then click on p so I'm going to be taking this back to the beginning. So on this part, so from the beginning, uh, from here, I'm going to click on the stopwatch and then move this to some point in this few seconds and then animate it to move, sorry, um, that way forward. Forward, still drag it, still drag, still drag so it goes out of the scene but you can notice it's going down a little bit so which is not actually ideal so i'm going to be taking this up a little bit as it goes to the ending sorry up 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 okay good so now this is what we, you have when you play this okay you actually have a train moving but it's actually really slow so to speed this up you can actually just adjust the time that the keyframe make it closer so the closer it gets the faster it becomes let me give it a quarter of the resolution so let me take this closer so you can actually see it's very it's getting pretty fast yes so where we animated it to stop that's where it's stopping so if we wanted to get to get out of the scene fully go back to the keyframe and then still animate this to move out completely yeah so we've got this now so basically, um, if you can actually watch from the original video, you can actually see it's not like the way you've seen it here. So if you should go back to that video layer, you can see this is what you get. So you can actually see it now. You actually have a moving train on the background. So you actually have something like this. But we'll do it was it's not actually looking that good. You know, seeing it well, like compared to that you've seen on the original video. So now let me go back to the train layer now. We need to activate the motion blur effect now so come over to the train and then toggle switch if you're not seeing this click this toggle switch and then you see this yeah you need to on this on the train layer so now you should get something like this you can actually see how it's it's now it's not having a smooth animation now it's looking smooth to the eyes compared to what we had before so let me take it back to this layer now if i should play this now you can see it's now looking a little bit blurred because it's actually fast so so that's what we plan to do so you can see it so you see it now it's not looking good so now on another thing we need to do now is to work on the background to make it look good to make it look fine because we actually talk about the color corrections so that's the next part we'll be moving into i know you can actually add a lot of stuff to the background to make it look good like trees if you compare that to the real scene you can see that we added trees um different stuff where just we're just add this is just a tutorial i'm just showing you what to do so on your own time you can actually make time to add a lot of things you can actually want to add um you can actually take your time to adjust the background or do any other stuff so for this i'm we're not going to be going deep down into all those that because it's going to take a lot of our time so on your own you can actually learn to add different stuff just same way we added the um background that's how you can actually add different stuff Okay, now so let's move on to the next part the next part we're going to be moving on to is the um color correction and then uh and to make the color the whole scene looks good so color correction basically enhance the color of any scene to make it look really good like that and the music video you can actually see the original scene versus the um final production it looks really good 
so that's what we're going to be doing here so basically um for the sake of the story, i'm not going to be giving a perfect shot because i um, wasn't i i'm not actually a color vfx artist so i'm just going to be showing you ways by which you can get this done so manually um uh, first i'm going to say uh, uh, literally the sky is actually literally too bright for this whole thing so first this is the sky layer which is this this is the sky layer which is we use at the background so initially literally need to fade this out a little bit by using the curves i'm just going to say that that's for just the sky c r v e s so curves so i need to take this down a little bit so if i should take this down fully this is what you get you can see the whole sky is now something as well we don't want that if I take up, it increases the brightness. So I'm just going to take this down a little bit. But that's not what we're here for now. So the next thing we want to do now, we want to create an adjustment layer to fit into all this thing because this the sky is literally just too bright. So let me just take this down a little bit again. A little bit more of this. Okay. So I think that should do for now. So the next thing we want to do now is get on the color correction normally um so to do this you can actually create a new and then adjustment layer where we have to put in our color correction um, plugin or effects so basically um i normally use there are a lot of people that there are different um color preset plugin that you can actually use depending on the one okay so normally when you install your after effect there are actually different um vfx um, color preset that comes with it so such as the uh, i think the lumetric key Lumetric, so you can see colorista uh, luminance uh, lumetric color this is the one we are actually going to be using but this is not basically what we're going to be using but for this now let me just show you so right click here new and then adjustment layer and then select this lumetric color double click on it like same way we've been adding effects so basically you can actually make um a color correction change i'm not actually using this you can actually from time to time change make the color change Anything you actually make here, any change you make here is actually going to be affecting the scene. You know, as, as you can see, I drag this up to the green. It's actually affecting this. So if I, if I drag this up, I'm not actually a color VFX artist, okay? So I'm, I'm not good with this. So I'm just showing you. That's why I say it's a minor color correction. So any changes you make here, it actually affects the video. There are a lot of stuff you can actually do here um, with the curves. You can actually bring this down and it literally affects the video. So you can see, you can see, you can see if I take this up. So basically anything you're actually doing here, it's actually bringing, it's actually making change with the colors and a lot of stuff. So basically we're not going to be using the lumetric color. There are also a lot of stuff like colorista, but for this, we're not going to be using that. For this, we're going to be using the magic bullets, um, looks, it's actually called looks, L-O-K-S. This is an external plugin that I had to install for magic bullets, red giant magic bullet. So click on this. So just like I said, I'm not a color person. This is just a minor color um, stunt thing we're going to be doing. So then click on come over to the effect um, preview menu and then click on edit. Basically, any parts you select here will be what will be on the preview parts of the color correction. So yeah, so let's wait while this loads up. So basically, you can actually see a bunch of color presets that are actually here. It is analog. Analog has its own color blockbuster has its own color um blockbuster won't cool and lots more a lot of them so let's just say we'll come over to this um well, let's, let's see you can see there's so much more okay let's see we we'll select this tone mapping you can actually see how the whole thing looks wow the train is looking a little bit more red and then uh you can see it let me click it again wow you can see this one so it basically show you how it looks like and then wow wow this already made pieces you can see this one looks really good here see this one here analog this is this one looks like an old scene wow 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 like a lot of stuff you can actually do with this so you can actually see wow that boom looks good so basically you just have to choose any one so let's say let's take um this boom i think this boom would be good for this boom so now you can also come here to adjust any of this parameters here you see here but basically if you're not good at this you need to go learn how to um uh, 
make color correction because color correction is another course on its own it's, it takes time some people even use different software called davinci resolve for this so basically i had to find an easy way which is by getting the magic bullet for this so basically i'm not going to be touching anything here because i don't know much about this so let me just leave this for now and then click okay so you can see now the color is not looking a little bit much better than before if i should turn off the layer now wow you see you can see the difference so now basically if you're looking at this now you might be saying okay this color is not enough you want to add more what if you want to add more color correction more yes you can actually do that then you see this layer here now this layer where you added the color correction you can actually duplicate this now now the, let's say you want to add in another vf another uh, magic bullets uh, preset you all just have to just click on the edit on the on the new layer which is duplicated though and that means i want to add in this tone mapping to it you can actually see this now so i click ok now there are actually two plugins two color correction presets here now this one has the tone mapping and this one has the um, boom effect so if i should turn off the stop one now you can see there are changes changes have been made if i should turn on only one and then you can see it's looking red within the color this is basically a mixture of two different color presets so another thing again you can actually play with them with the preset you can actually let me see the opacity of one you can actually reduce one over one maybe if you one is too harsh you can actually reduce it to make it look good so um you can actually make it look good so you can actually see this now so this is basically two different things so this is just like you combining two different things. another thing again you can also do is that you can actually change the modes of the layer to add you can see it's now looking a little bit more brighter to or screen sorry about the noise uh i'm really sorry about this or multiple you can see it's not dark you can i basically like, you can do a lot with this you just have to go through this take your time just basically from the um knowledge you've been getting from this masterclass course and then yeah so that's all i'm gonna be leaving this footage for you guys to actually work with so you guys can actually learn how to make i like to see what you guys can make with this so there's going to be a link in the description to download this so wow there here you go and you have something like this it's really really cool guys so um that will be basically it for now for this part of the vfx uh, masterclass course on green screen and vfx compositing and color correction minor color correction so guys that will be it for now so let's head on to the next part and until i see you again peace out Okay, guys, this is actually something I actually forgot to talk about. Is that you see this part here on the looks and um, the effect control menu? You actually see this stuff that says strength. Basically, the strength is actually uh, the strength is actually like it's just like you controlling the opacity of the layer. If I should take this strength down, watch notice this layer, you can notice that the color correction is actually reducing, reducing, reducing. Now it's no longer there. This is basically just same way as um, controlling the opacity of this layer. So if I should press, come back to the color correction layer and then press T. And then if I should reduce this down, this is basically just the same thing. So just in case you don't want to do this here, as reducing the opacity of this layer, um, you can basically just do it here. And also adjustment layer are just like transparent layer. They're like glass. Okay, glass um, that you can easily put things like effects. Like uh, you use the adjustment layer for a lot of stuff. Okay, as we go on with time, you, you get to understand uh, a lot of what we use the adjustment layer for.